Hello guys, Soft Tony here and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a cool sun animation here in After Effects. We'll achieve this glowing and dynamic look in just a few simple steps. So don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get started! Alright, we're here in After Effects and as always let's first create final composition, hit here and I will type final, of course you are free to type whatever you want, this is gonna be full HD, 9020 by 1080 30 fps, 10 seconds long, hit ok and now let's create background, go right click to create new solid and I will just type BG for background, also full HD, hit ok, now go here inside the effects and presets and if you can't find it just go window and you will find here effects and presets options ok for the first effect i will type ramp effect drag and drop onto our background ok and here for the start of the ramp go upper left corner and end of the ramp lower right corner like so and you are free to pick your own colors i will do maybe this dark dark orange color and when you're satisfied just hit ok now let's create another solid layer go here go right click to create solid and this is gonna be particles also full HD, hit OK, go here inside the effects and preset, let's type CC star burst effect, drag and drop on top of our particle solid layer, and here we are free to play around with star burst effect, for the scatter let's go to around maybe 500 or so, something like this, let's lower down speed to 0.5 or 6, OK, and for the grid spacing I will type 1. Now let's go here inside the effects and presets again, I will type fill effect, drag and drop on top of our particles solid layer and change colors maybe to this also orange color. And when you're satisfied just hit ok. Alright guys that was our first step and now I will close this effects control and now let's create our sun, go right click to create new solid layer again and this is gonna be just sun, also full HD, hit ok, go again here inside the effects and preset, find fractal noise effect drag and drop onto our solid and here let's change contrast from 100 to around 500 also let's change complexity from 6 to 10 and let's animate evolution hold alt on your keyboard left mouse click i will type time asterisk 50 and this is gonna be speed of our animation hit zero our animation for now is looking like this okay for the next effect go here again in effects and presets type find edges drag and drop also on the sun solid layer check this option invert and now let's hit ctrl plus d once and let's hit ctrl plus d once again and now we have duplicated find edges for about three times and this is looking cool now let's go again here inside the effects and preset i will type noise effect this one also drag and drop on top of our solid layer uncheck use color noise and clip result values and type 12 now let's go and find another effect and this is gonna be optics compensations, drag and drop also on our sun solid layer and let's check this option optimal pixels and for the field of view let's type 160 like so and as you can see now we have this cool looking shape of our sun planet. Okay now let's go here again inside the effects and preset and find another effect and this is gonna be bevel alpha effect find bevel alpha effect this one drag and drop also on top of our sun solid layer and for the edge thickness i will go to around 5 and also for the light intensity you can play around here i will leave it to around 0.5 and for the color let's go and find again orange color and now also as you can see we have this cool looking bevel alpha effect here on our sun shape all right now let's add here another effect, go in the effects and preset, I will type colorama effect, drag and drop also on our sun solid layer, and go here inside the output cycle, and change preset from none, and find here fire, and as you can see, our sun shape is already looking great. And also for the final effect, go here again and find glow effect, also drag and drop on our sun solid layer, and here for the threshold I will type 100 and maybe for the radius I will go to around 65. Also you are free to go inside every effect here to play around until you are satisfied with your own final results. Now let's duplicate this sun solid layer 
And basically you can also play around with blending modes, for example overlay, or you can try maybe color dodge, it's up to you. Maybe also to hit T for the opacity, maybe lower it down. And now let's also grab upper and lower layer, go right click to pre-compose, and this is gonna be just sun camp, something like this, hit OK. And also for the final step, what you can do, you can also create here flares, go right click to create again solid layer, and I will rename it to lens flare, hit OK, go here inside the effects and preset, find fill effect, OK, drag and drop on top our lens flare solid layer, change color to black color, hit OK, and it's really important to change your blending mode from normal to add. We're doing this so you can easily change colors of your flares. I will show you later on. Now let's go and find here lens flare effect. Also drag and drop on our lens flare solid layer. And basically play around here with the points. Something like this. And for the final effect, add triton. Also drag and drop. All right. And here inside the triton effect, you are free to play around with your own flare colors and everything else. And just when you're satisfied, hit OK. You can also animate this flare effect, maybe from somewhere around here to here, but it's all up to you. Also later on in every moment, you can hit here background, hit F3 on your keyboard, change whatever color you want. Also, you can readjust it, just hit OK. And you can also change particle size, speed, and everything else. If you don't like this look, just play around here with the grid spacing and everything else. Now let's hit zero here inside the final composition and our sun animation is looking great. Of course you can add, as I have already said, more light effects like lens flares, light sweeps, also light trace and so many different effects. Alright guys, that was everything for today's tutorial and like always, if you found this video helpful, please hit that like button. Also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, also take a look at my channel for even more great tutorials, and until next time, stay creative, and bye bye!